Welcome. Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 143. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 133 to 145. Hey, Trick 143, we want to have a data validation drop down list that selects from a list of names. But we've used data validation. If I Alt DL, you can see I have a list here. But I would also like to prevent duplicates. Now there's an option. You can come down to custom, and we've done this in other videos, and build a true false formula that would prevent duplicates. But you can't do both of those things at the same time with data validation. You can't have a list and a true false formula. So we need to figure out a way to have uh, a list with a drop down that doesn't allow duplicates. Right now you can see it does. So really we want that drop down and if we look here Alt DL for data validation you could see custom that. I can do these two things one data validation here and one data validation here but not both of them in the same cell. So I didn't know how to do this so what did I do? Of course I went to the Mr. Excel discussion board. I'm going to Alt Tab this is um, www.mrexcel.com, and you want to uh, register if you want to use the uh, Mr. Excel uh, discussion board. And here it is, right here. You can find the registration link there somewhere. But this link to the discussion board then allows you to uh, post questions right here. Look at that. There's 474 of the smartest Excelers in the world looking right now, waiting for your question. Now, I actually uh, have a link up here that takes me straight to this question that I posted. So I'm going to click on this. And here is, I posted this question about the data validation, two of them. Here's my original uh, uh, question here. And this guy, Mike uh, uh, Rickson from Davis, California, immediately within minutes posted some VBA code. Now, there was some problem with it, and so I posted back and asked him a couple questions. And sure enough, almost instantaneously, he posted back, and we resolved the problem. And here's what I got eventually. This is all the code. I'm going to copy it. Now notice, uh, you know, I'm not the best uh, code writer. In fact, I can't really write code from scratch at all. Um, I can do macros and stuff like that, but I know where to go to get the code. And so uh, here's the code. And it, that code, if we paste it into the VBA editor, it will automatically prevent duplicates in this range right here from B12 to uh, uh, B23. The keyboard shortcut to open up the VBA editor is Alt F11. Alt F11. And let's see if I can make this small enough to fit on the screen here. Uh, there we go. And then up here, here's the VBA editor. Now, uh, you want to paste it. Here's the name of our workbook over here. This is just like Windows Explorer. There it is. And here's all the sheets, right? So we need to find 143. If you don't see this uh, VBA project, you can go to View and then Project Explorer or Control R. So if this isn't open, you could Control R. And then you double click the sheet because this code has to be pasted right in the sheet. I'm going to click over here and Control V. There it is. Um, I can simply, this is the VBA editor. Notice that the Excel workbook is still open here. Uh, and once I paste this in here, I always like to save immediately, Control S, and then close this. Now, watch this. We uh, have name one. I'm going to say name two, and then I'm going to put name one, and then down here I'm going to do duplicate. Boom! There it is absolutely amazing. So that's from uh, Mike Rickson at MrExcel.com. That is one amazing solution using VBA. When we come back in our next uh, Excel trick, we're going to see an amazing formula solution. Now, this one is simpler and straight to the point, but actually there's a cool, a few cool tricks coming up in the next trick uh, that allows us to do this with formulas. So we'll see you next trick.